Aquarius. Hello there, my beautiful friends. We're going to do your general tarot reading for early December 2023. Thank you so much for joining me today. You know I appreciate each and every single one of you. So let's get right down to business as always and start you off with an oracle card here just so we could dip our toes in the energy and see what's happening for the lovely Aquarians out there. Hope you're all doing fabulous and fantastic, my friends. Let's get it going. Gods and spirit team, what do we have for Aquarius here? We are getting kind of close to Aquarius season. We still have a little bit of time. But yeah, we're just going to take a real quick look at this first card. Then we'll get into the full reading itself. And at the very end, I'll pull you a bonus card from the Shadowland Tarot. Just to see what might be in the shadows or what shadow work you can lean in on. Which is always interesting. But let's get it going here. Let's rock and see what we got for Aquarius. And we are in Saggy season, my friends. It's interesting to think what all your Aquarius placements are doing here. But what's going on with the energy? Okay. Yeah, no, this is the one. All right. This card is very spiritual. And this is very similar to the Hierophant when I see it. There's a lot of spirituality, but there's also this unseen energy whenever it shows up. It's a little bit of a complex energy, Aquarius, which I know you could deal with a complex energy if anyone can. But before we fully dive into it, if you're new here, I'll be speaking about the December subscriber surprise towards the end. So you might want to check that out. Also, if you could kindly illuminate the like button by tapping it right on its third eye you know i'd greatly appreciate it but enough of the promo into the reading let's talk a little more about this card so we see this individual here they are blindfolded they cannot see and there's all different elements and emblems of different types of spirituality here we have all the major world religions and spiritualities and this person is touching the charms going through them so there's a couple of major themes i think whenever this shows up one now might be a great time for anyone with Aquarius placements to really throw their energy into different sorts of spirituality and beliefs and practices, okay? Whether it is a major religion, whether it's your own brand, it's good to be spiritually in touch here, even if it's just through meditation and anything of that sort. But a big thing with this card as well, notice this person is blindfolded. There's something about the subtle energies, the intuition, the unseen, the unexpected that's showing up here front and center for you. So I feel like it could be either or for some of you it may even be both, right? Like a good time to tap into that spiritual nature. But there could be a lot of things happening around you that you don't quite have a full grasp on at the moment. And a lot of you just could be very much spiritually in tune or sensitive in this time when this card shows up. So we're just going to place him right over here. Let's get into tarot. And I always say that first card, it doesn't make or break the reading. It's just a little footnote. So yeah, let's get you three cards in the upright. Then we'll get into the intuitive juiciness here. Let's see what's happening with my Aquarians. And while we get the deck ready, let's talk about last week's reading. The last two weeks have had some very positive energies for you. Last week's was titled A Shocking Win. And guess why? There was a tower. But it wasn't a bad tower. So for a lot of you Aquarians, if there wasn't a win or something go your way unexpectedly or shockingly, just know that that could absolutely still bleed over into this week, right? Because the energies can do that. But there's been a nice energy around the Aquarians. So you know, if you've been going through problems, things could be getting better. But let's see what we have for you this week. As you know, energy is very fluid. It's never set in stone. So only take this how it hits for you because we could be seeing your vibe or someone you're linked to. Let's get it going. Let's get three cards to start us with the Aquarians, please. Thank you. Oh, all right. We got the Fool card starting us off. Some nice fire energy. The protagonist of the tarot deck. One of my favorite cards in the whole deck. And we are starting with a boom. We're starting with a bang. We're starting with a lot of gusto here. And it's in line with the energy we saw last week. That's for sure. The Sun card. Okay. Okay. And notice here with the full card, it also has a rendition of the sun. So it's like we have a double down of this beautiful sun energy, which could be extremely positive. But at the same time, it there could be a lot of things coming to the surface when there's a lot of sun energy, in my opinion, at the very least. Hermit, totally different, totally opposite. So this could be like a rapid change of some sort. When we go from the fool to the sun, then to the hermit, it's like, whoa, all right, where did that come from? Okay, like that is extremely sudden or out of nowhere. So we have a lot to unpack here, Aquarius. Let's go through. I'll give you some of the classical meanings and archetypes, and we'll get into the juicy, intuitive stuff. So at first look, first glance, I look down here. Obviously, there's a couple of themes I'm noticing initially. All of the main parts of the spread are major arcana. These represent big, powerful themes in our life. Possible life-changing, altering types of energies are showing up here. 
They represent different areas and people within the zodiac as well, so it could be people. But there's a huge difference in all this sun energy because this is light, 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 and on over here with the hermit. That's a darker type of card. It's a withdrawn type of card, so it is the complete opposite of what we have going on here at the front. So there's a duality to what we have in the spread this week for you, Aquarius. Let's go through one by one and start to build this story out. So position number one, we have the full card. As I already mentioned, it's the protagonist of the tarot deck. It is the first of the major arcana. And to me, this is a lovely card of action, starting a new journey, starting a new venture, hitting the world with some optimism, a lot of gusto does represent the zodiac sign of Aries. So the first zodiac sign within the wheel, now we have the full card. So this is very good for any new things, new endeavors. And it could be also someone taking big action, making big moves. So you might just be filled with that energy, which is good. And this is spirit really shining the sun down on this beautiful type of energy that's really favoring new. But another thing I do have to say about the Fool card is that there are some warnings attached to it, just like with every card. The Fool card could be a bit of a spontaneous type of energy. It could be a hazardous type of energy where someone acts before they think. They don't fully think about what they do. They just do. And then it's like shoot first, ask questions later type of energy. So there might be a warning here. It all really depends. Okay, I'm not going to go too far in depth with that just yet. Now, moving to the center, we have another another very strong placement of fire. We have the sun card, the most positive card in the whole entire deck. And that's why this is such a sudden change here on the back end. Now the sun could represent Leo. So if we have Aries, we have Leo showing up here. And there's so much positivity when I see the sun card. It could represent wins, victories, overcoming things, triumph, overcoming things, triumphs. It's source energy. When I see the sun, I think of the light, life, and love that shines down on us from spirit. This is all the blessings of the universe, and it's loving, and it's good. It's pure. But what are the challenges with the sun card, in my opinion? One, sometimes it represents things coming to the surface, right? It could represent things being revealed or made known. So yeah, with the fool, the spontaneousness, yeah, maybe there are certain things being revealed or made known to you. There could be a lot of revelations. And with this hermit on the back end, like, it's such a retracted energy that I do feel for a lot of you, things that you once didn't know are going to be made known, even with the Oracle card. So there could be an unexpected or surprising energy linked in here as well. But I don't want to read a challenge into the sun because it's just such a beautiful energy and card to me. Aside from Revelation, when I see the sun, I mean, nothing can hide in the light of the sun. That's one thing I will say about it. It's truth and it's love. It's pure. So we'll dig into that a little further. For some of you, if you're connected to Leo, that's them just showing up there, right? We don't need to get too overcomplicated with it. Now, getting to the back end here, we have the Hermit, okay? Virgo energy. So when we see this Hermit, the complete and total opposite of everything that we've been seeing here, whereas like the Fool is like taking action, making moves, this Hermit is pulled back and withdrawn. The sun showing up in both of these cards illuminates things and brings things to light. The hermit brings things further into mystery, into dark. Now, the good things about this card, if you're not connected to a Virgo or have Virgo placements, the hermit is a wise card. It's an extremely spiritual card. Remember the first Oracle card, there was a lot of spirituality. So this could be a double down of that message from spirit saying like, hey, connect to your inner voice, connect to your spirituality, go within a little bit in whatever way that is acceptable for you. But the hermit is a withdrawn, pulled back type of energy. So you might be going into hermit mode. Maybe you're in some sort of solitude. This could sometimes even represent loneliness as well, feeling isolated. So we really wanna dig into the hermit. And in its roughest case scenario, it could be somebody going through the dark night of the soul. Very deep, powerful transformation that's not easy to go through. So we gotta dive deeper on all this stuff, Aquarius. Let's jump in and clarify. All right, let's get a good shuffle here and see what's happening, my friends. What do we got, my gods? And yes, this is where I go intuitive with the message. It means I just tell you how it feels to me, so feel free to do further research or rely on your base knowledge of tarot, because as you know, every single reading is about the reader's interpretation, and I'm just giving you mine. What's going on that full card? And yes, if you're a reader yourself, please feel free to play along. That's why the box is here. If you're feeling any messages that you want to give to Aquarius, you could drop it right down in the comments. I don't mind at all. All right, fool time. What's happening? How's that fool here? Okay, that card did like a weird flip out of my hand. You guys know I read jumpers here. 
yeah, somebody might do things. <laughs> and just like I was saying, where there's like this unexpected or spontaneous type of energy, now we get the King of Wands in reverse underneath the full card. Like, like I said, it's somebody doing something that you never expected, or it's someone behaving in a way that you've never seen. It's like, whoa, what has gotten into you? So this could be a surprising action. It could be an unexpected action of some sort where it's like, whoa, what got into me? What got into you? I didn't see that. Come. Like, that's just the vibe this has given me. Now, I will say for some of you, if you are connected to specifically an Aries or another fire sign, there could be someone that might feel a little insulted, right? So they might be a little more sensitive than they normally are. Obviously, that's not for every single Aquarius out there. But the main message I'm picking up here is like, what the hell has gotten into this person? Like unexpected actions, right? Where someone's either behaving in a way you've never seen or acting in a way it's like, all right, I, I didn't see that coming. So I would say keep that in mind as you move throughout the coming days and weeks. I would say if I were to pull a positive from here, this could be spirit telling you not to overthink things as well. If we're looking at the positive of that, the fool could still be very good. Like let something flow, don't overthink it, just go with the flow. So that could be a positive. Let's keep moving. Let's see why the sun is here. Yeah, I mean, there's just, I'm still getting that vibe that someone might act in a way that you just never even saw or expected, okay? And also with all this sun action energy into the hermit, that's such a withdrawn, a rapid withdrawal, a rapid pulling back. So let's see why the sun is here. It makes sense why I see the sun when the last couple of weeks you've had some positive readings. So why is the sun here? Thank you. Three cups, good. Like there might be something where you think it's gonna turn out for the best or everything's perfectly fine, peachy keen. Okay, that's the vibe I'm picking up here. And I'm giving a side eye to this damn hermit here. Now, if you're a Virgo, no offense, but for some reason, I feel like something's gonna happen when we get over to that hermit. But we have the three of cups in the upright under the sun. It doesn't get much more beautiful than that. It doesn't get much more better than that. These are beautiful energies. The three of cups is celebratory. It's happy. These people are partying it up. They're living it up. So there could be a cause for celebration for a lot of Aquarians, just like in the last couple of weeks. There's still the energy of wins and victories coming at you. Now, if we were to look at some of the challenges of the Three of Cups, it could sometimes represent someone that overindulges too much, parties a little too much, throws a few too many back, but I'm not picking that up here under the sun. They're still good here, but there might also be a situation where you're like, no, everything's going to be fine. Everything's going to turn out good, or you think everything is just fine, all right? Or you thought, right? Because remember, we have the unexpected action, now the sun and the three of cups. It's like, yeah, no, everything's good. Everything's perfect. Don't worry about it. Like, that's the vibe I'm getting. Hopefully it holds up. Because, like, I have to speculate about this hermit on the back end because it's such a rapid change of energy. Let's move in on that hermit to see if that could be a warning of some sort. Then we'll, we'll do a quick little recap before we get into the shadow card. Yeah, it's such an interesting reading this week for you, Aquarius. So why is that hermit in the mix? Please. Thank you. This is like baffling me. Now, I will say this, Aquarius, there is beautiful energy around you in the Aquarius Collective. We have the Wheel of Fortune in the upright underneath this hermit, and generally, this could be seen as good. And I will say, overall, the energy of the whole spread, like with the Sun, the Fool, the Three of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, there is good energy here at your disposal at hand like there's good possibilities here but remember what else the wheel could represent even though it's a good luck charm karmic cycles cycles closing cycles opening change sudden change and like we kind of got the spontaneous here in the front end you might have thought everything was cool good gravy on the back end the hermit with the wheel of fortune it's like good times closing out or the good times ending very quickly it's like all right well everything was fine I turned my head and what the heck happened? Like it's giving me that vibe, like an extremely rapid change of situation, okay? And it doesn't feel like it's for the best. Like I'm gonna keep it real with you when I have it here on the back end. It's like, I thought everything was good. I thought everything was moving in a good direction. It's like almost like something imploding, okay? Obviously don't take it if it doesn't hit, but whether this is something from the past or something currently, just know things could be changing in a very, very rapid way, 
okay? Like, I'm not, I don't want to say don't be too secure in things that are going fine. I want you to be optimistic. I want you to lean towards the positive. But change is a fact of life, right? Like, it's something we can't avoid. It's going to happen. And it seems like one could be happening very, very quickly, especially with what we have in the front end. Let's go through and do a quick recap, Aquarius, because this reading is like a little bit all over the place before we get into the shadow card. But I will say four of the six placements and cards in the spread are really beautiful primo type of energy with the fool the sun the three of cups the wheel there is goodness to be had and i feel like for a lot of you i might just need to say enjoy something while you can or enjoy something while it lasts like that's something i feel like i have to say but position number one we have the fool with the knight of wands in reverse you might have some sensitive fire signs that you're connected to and don't worry if you're a fire sign so am i i'm an aries myself but we have some sensitive fire sign energy right here in the front end. But a big thing I was picking up was seeing a different side of someone, someone acting in an odd way or an unexpected way. It's like, damn, I never saw this side of that person. Moving to the center, we have the sun with the three of cups in the upright. It doesn't get much better than that. Still the wins, victories, and celebrating. But there might be something, where whether it has happened or will, where it's like, yeah, everything's fine, or everything was fine, everything was perfect, everything was moving in the right direction. Getting to the back end, this is where we get that sudden train change withdrawal type of energy, because we have the hermit with the wheel of fortune in the upright. Sudden changes and shifts happening, okay? And it makes sense with what I've been feeling since the very beginning, where it's like, okay, well, I turned my head and now everything is chaos. Like, that's kind of the vibe I'm picking up here, Aquarius. But there's still goodness to be had, so enjoy the good, because change is inevitable. I feel like I have to say it. So please, take a screenshot. Let's get you a shadow card real quick. And let's see what's in the shadows for Aquarius. Okay. Yeah, you might want to look into this reading a little further. That was making me feel all sorts of things. Mostly Major Arcana as well for the sixth Major Arcana. But let's see what's in the shadows for you. I always say the shadow card doesn't have to be a challenge. It's just something you don't quite see. Maybe it's something that's been within you. And yes, if you made it to this point in the reading, please feel free to check out channel memberships. I'll put a link for it down in the comments below. There's several tiers to choose from. Obviously, there is no pressure, but it's a beautiful way to support the channel. You know I appreciate it. Let's get you a shadow card. Close this out for Aquarius, please. Okay, the deck is being very specific for you, so we're just going to keep on shuffling until one pop. There we go. Thank you. Okay, yeah, Ten of Swords. And don't be nervous about the Ten of Swords being in the shadows, because I will say this. Out of all the shadow cards, this is the most common one because this is an energy that people can carry with them for a very long time. Even if things look good, even if things are good, Ten of Swords energy is difficult to heal from. And we all experience these from time to time. So the Ten of Swords, you know classically it's a card that could represent painful endings, could represent loss of various different kinds, losing people, losing whatever. And it's just something that's very difficult to deal with. I will say this could be a warning about your health. Make sure you're taking care of yourself, mind, body, and soul when we have the Ten of Swords in the shadows. But this could be an ending or a pain that you might still be holding on to. And spirit might say, hey, you don't have to resolve it all this moment, but you should spend some time trying to, okay, in whatever way that's possible. So Aquarius, that's what I have for you this week, my beautiful friends. Don't click away just yet, though. I'm going to give you the details, the December subscriber surprise. If you got your name in for the November subscriber surprise, the winners will be announced after this week's fire and air readings. But for December, I'll be giving away three copies of the beautiful Tarot of the Owls. It's one of my favorite new decks out there, and it's really enjoyable to work with. So if you'd like to get your name in for that, it's two simple things. As always, my friends, first, you must be subscribed. And second, let me know down in the comments, what do you think Tarot is best used for? Is it for looking at love situations, the past, the future, energy checks? Whatever it is, you drop your answer down in the comments below. And as always, the winners will be announced at random at the end of December. My friends, as always, much love to you, and I'll see you next time.